All right, hello everybody. Today, or I guess this episode, what we're going to do is we, now that we've completed the child portion of the um, spirit temple, we get to go ahead and um, go glitch our way past the door of time now. So that should be fun. Um, pretty basically, we just need to become adult Link, and in order to do that, we're going to glitch past the door of time. I don't know if I mentioned this in an earlier video, but after you get Zelda's lullaby, uh, his angle changes, the guard's angle changes, and he's slightly harder to get past. Um, I mean, if you know what you're doing, it really isn't a big deal. I still don't quite know what I'm doing, but I'm getting better at it, or at least I... I think and hope I am. I don't, I just, ugh. I don't like the recoil on him because you'll get like in the middle, but he'll push you forward instead of you going backwards. Like that. I just wish you'd go backwards. It'd make things a whole lot easier. It would make this glitch a whole lot easier. But depending on how long it takes me to get past this and the door of time, I may get the hook shot in this video and I may not. It it's just it depends all on time. Alright, well, at least we got that done now. And, actually, I don't, I already know there's not going to be enough time. Hopefully I can just glitch past the door of time in this episode, and then we can get that cutscene out of the way. And then next time we will go to uh, Dampy's Lamp, and uh, I'll figure it out. I mean, I don't want to just get the hook shot and make that video, like, three minutes long or whatever. So, I'll see what I want to do with that. But, we're gonna have to fight enemies for, um... I mean, because it's nighttime anyways. But it's okay, because if you're running the same route, it, it it's helpful to get 200 more rupees to get this uh, big Oron sword later. Or the uh, giant's knife. But, earlier I was telling you about the, um... Power, uh, power stab glitch. And, well, it's actually not a glitch. I mean, it's just... It's just part of the game, but now I'm doing it. Earlier I was doing it wrong, but here, I'll, like, I'll show you what I mean with the next two that pop up. If two more pop up, that is. So, if you see here, it normally takes two hits to kill him, and one jump slash is, you know, one jump slash is one hit. And as you can see here, since the jump slash was the last move I performed, it's the move it's copying. So if I do that, it takes two hits. And perform a jump slash, it stores the jump slash. So power, it's pretty helpful. Um, I tried explaining it in an earlier video and I actually failed at that, so that's kind of like a little redemption. A little, uh, it's a little like redemption thing, just so that you guys know how to actually do it. And I used to be really good at angling this bridge, but not anymore. I don't know why I quite can't. And you don't really have to jump slash for the rupees, I just did it to be safe. And stupid dancing couples annoy me. Now I took some time practicing this glitch before um before I started recording, so I kinda have the first part down. I didn't successfully do it. I just got the first half down. 
and the second half just seems like timing to me, so I don't really think practicing that would have made a difference. But anyways, what you're going to want to do is get in this corner. And you want to line up the bottom left hilt of your sword to the two texture changes in the wall. Kind of like the crack in the middle. Right there, that line. And then you're going to want to line up that hilt with it. And I don't know if you saw that in the video, but if you did, good. But what you're going to do is you need to backflip, side roll. Well, I'll show you out here. You backflip. You backflip, side roll, and then you uh, do a jump, a side jump. And you normally Link, he likes to roll right a lot, so you really have to do some uh, heavy positioning on your... Uh, that was a good one, but you do some heavy positioning on your... Um, on your control stick. Something to learn. One way I've learned is you walk backwards like this, then you hold slightly diagonal left, and you'll roll left, but it, it, it's something to practice, just so you can roll left easier, or have a little easier time doing it. But after you do that, you're going to Z-target, you're going to backflip, then you're going to roll left, and uh, jump to the left. And if you do it right, you'll clip your way through the uh, door of time. And then I, I need to put this away. And the reason I'm, I keep pulling out my sword is because once you glitch your way through the uh, door of time, you actually have to jump slash, or you'll fall to your death. So, like I said, since I haven't really done it yet, I'm just trying to get prepared, I guess. I think that actually does make a difference. As you're doing this too, you, well, for your first backflip, you want to stay in the C up view and then do your backflip. Yeah, that does change it. So you want to stay in your C up view, and if you ever un-Z, then you have to do it again. But after you get it all lined up, you're just going to C up view backflip for your first one. And then even if you don't succeed, you can just keep backflipping because you have that angle slightly up. I really don't like having to put the sword away. So you use an empty bottle, it's just a little quicker. See, I was doing it. I was doing it pretty good before, but um, I don't know, or not. I wasn't. I never. Like I said, I never got past the door, but I was. I had actually. Um, I had actually at least gotten past the clipping part. This, uh, these Legend of Zelda glitches really, I mean, they are tough. And you would really need practice to be able to do them really, really efficiently. I mean, it's probably a lot of good stuff to learn to do efficiently anyways, but... I mean, without practice, like me, just going in blind, it's pretty hard stuff. I 
like I said, I was doing it pretty good before I started recording, and now, I don't know what it is, now it's just like pressure or something? I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not lining it up right. And really, one of the, the doing the side roll to the left is pretty hard to get down. Oh, uh, another trick I learned is once you see the wall, you backflip into it, and then use jam left and Z target. I think that's what I did last time, and it helped. So maybe I'll, I'll try that again right now and see if that makes a difference. Okay, see, there you go. Um, that time I actually glitched through. And I don't know if it, if I just didn't side hop far enough or what, but that's basically part of what you need to do. And then you jump slash and you're on the other side and whoop de do. I don't know why I didn't go far enough. Maybe it's something I'm going to have to look into. But... I mean, really, this is something you need to practice to just get down to a T. And see, the problem is, once once I clip my way through the wall... I'm not sure exactly what I'm supposed to do. I've looked up videos and I mean really they just they all they do is jump slash and they're just in so I don't know if I need to jump slash earlier or what. But yeah, if you don't do it right, you just fall and you just fall and cry. Once you get it down, I mean, I was clipping my way through the wall pretty good. I mean, once you get it down, you can clip a lot. You can clip through the wall often. The biggest part is actually getting to the other side. Another problem is side rolling to the left. I mean, that is just something that, because of the way the 64 controller is set up, you just have to do it. Like, it has to be really, really precise, and it's actually kind of annoying. And as you can tell, I've been trying to jump slash earlier since, really, I've just been falling to my death. I don't know what it is exactly I need to do, if I need to jump slash earlier, if I'm doing something wrong. I mean, I'm clipping through the wall just like I've seen everyone do, so... I hope an adult 
or actually, I hope we don't even have to come back here. I was gonna say, I hope Adult Link sequence break is a lot easier, but I would actually just prefer if we didn't have to come back at all. I find if you can't really tell where in the middle is, being a little bit to the right actually seems like a better idea than too far left. And what's this video running at? Oh, it's already 15 minutes, yeah. It's already too long.